Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Steam Time with Dr. Palmer. Uh, I taught you last episode how to make a circle. So what can you do with that circle? What kind of activities could you do with a circle? What could you make with a circle? So I'm going to show you how to make this with a circle. The first thing you're going to need, of course, is a circle. A straw. A bendy straw would work better, but I didn't have a bendy straw, so I'm going to show you how to make a straight straw into what you need. Some tape or tape or tape. Any kind of tape was going to work. I wouldn't use duct tape. It's too hard to move if you need to. A marker. Some scraps of paper. And a ping pong ball. I didn't have a ping pong ball, so I had to look around and see what I had. And I found this here uh, that had some soft foam balls that probably doesn't work as well. But I'm just going to have to make do. Sometimes you have to make find things that will... Uh, replace what you're looking for and just test it out and see if it'll work. So you want a ball that's not going to be too heavy. It needs to be pretty light. Um, I'm going to show you in a few minutes what else that what it does. And the last thing you're going to need is a ruler. So here is the circle craft. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It's supposed to be used with a ping pong ball. I don't have a ping pong ball. So I explored different things. Like I showed you, I had that popper. And this is, um, what this one does. Then I thought, well, let me try something else. So I made a circle and I put a, um, drew a fly on it since I did a frog. And you could make a target and see if you could get your uh, piece in the target. I've ordered some, I'm going to order some ping pong balls and I would love to see how this works. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make this. Uh, the best thing to do is if you have a bendy straw. Like I said, I did not have a bendy straw. So I want to take and cut my straw at an angle because we need it to bend uh, up to get um, so that it has an angle to it. So I'm going to just turn it around and I'm going to tape that just like this. I'm going to use the blue painter's tape just because it's easy to take off and put on. And it's just something I had laying around. So just don't worry about buying anything to do this. Just use stuff that you have laying around the house. So you want to make sure when you're doing this that you get all of the um, seams nice and taped because if you don't, you're going to lose air through those holes. So I'm going to just tape this up. Then I'm going to test it by putting my finger over the tip and blowing into the other side. You want most of the air coming out of here. So now that I have that made, I'm going to lay it aside. I have my circle and we need to find the radius because we need the um, center point of the circle because we're going to be making a funnel. So I have a five inch circle. So on my ruler, I am going to find two and a half inches. 
and I am going to draw a line through just like this. There is the radius of our circle. Remember the radius is any point from the center to the circumference or the outside edge. So now I'm going to cut this just like this. Now I'm going to pull it together like this. I'm going to make this one a little tighter funnel than I did the other one and see if it works better. When you're doing steam, it's trial and error. And don't give up. Try again. See what else works. I'm going to use a little bit of tape. And I'm going to tape um, my funnel. Okay. Now that I've got my funnel taped, now start small because this way you don't have to redo it if you start small. So I'm going to clip, just cut the end off like this. I'm going to see if it fits. No, I need a little more. So I'm going to go this way. I'm going to do this a little bit at a time so that I don't completely ruin my funnel I just made. Try to stick it through this way. Nope. A little more here. The less that you have to cut, you might want to squeeze it together just a little bit. And once you have the hole big enough, it's going to fit a little tight, but straws um, bend. So now I've got my straw stuck up in there. Now I want to tape around here to keep the air, keep it, not really the air from coming out, but keep it stable and from moving. So I'm going to tape that and that didn't work. It's easiest to put the tape this way. There. There we go. All right. Wasn't wanting to cooperate with me. So I'm going to put my tape on here to hold it in place. You don't want the straw too far up in there. I had it too far up in there, so I moved it back down. I'm putting the tape up the side so that it provide, provides, I can't talk today, from stability. No different than in the classroom, right guys? All right, so now I have my funnel made. Now I should be able to put my ball in here. Or That's working. Now, to make the frog, or whatever you want to make, you need some scraps. I made a frog because you guys know I love frogs. When you're using paper, guys, don't start in the middle. See how I've used this little piece of paper for different things? I start on the side. So I want to draw my eye. Okay, now I'm going to just fold the paper in half. And I'm going to cut two eyes at a time instead of trying to get them both the same by drawing them. So now I have my eyes. I'm going to draw my little eyeball in here. I found this on um, a site called DIY class. I could not actually find the link to it. 
so um, it was it's a blog that's DIY classes dot blog spot 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 dot com um, so I have my eyes and I'm gonna go ahead and before I do that I'm gonna make my tongue so all I did to make the tongue is take and decide how wide I wanted my tongue draw a line cut it and then I just rolled the paper up okay now I'm going to stick the tongue here I'm gonna use clear tape you could glue it there's the tongue then I'm going to put the eyes behind. Okay, so there's your funnel frog then uh, to do the fly since I didn't have the ping pong ball I made a circle and cut it out this is a good reason to learn how to make circles so I made a circle I cut it out then I just drew a fly on it you put it in and there's your circle craft all right guys let's wrap it up chewy decided to come in with me and finish it out what do you think of the craft what could you make what kind of different animals or what could you do to use that funnel for um, I'm interested to see how it works with a ping pong ball. Of course, those are all in my classroom. I don't have any, any here at home. Uh, remember, you could use anything. You don't have to use construction paper. You don't have to use other things. Use what you have around the house. Use wrapping paper or other things like that. What could you use to make it out of? So this is Steam Time with Dr. Palmer. Take chances, make mistakes, get messy. As Miss Frizzle says, steam out.